Hello everybody, this is STO Weather Meteorologist Bobby Stowell here with a showcase of an update to RadarScope. Now in prior videos you've seen me run RadarScope version 2.1, which looked a lot like Maverick, looked a lot like OS X Mavericks and iOS 6 and earlier, with the schoonomorphic design. Um, RadarScope 2.1 ran without a hitch on Yosemite, without a, it ran without a problem. However, about two weeks ago, the team at Weather Decision Technologies released RadarScope version 2.2. Now, I've waited this long to bring it out to you because there were a few glitches at the beginning of the release. However, those glitches have been worked out, and everybody should be running 2.2 without a problem now. And additionally, I also released 2.3 for the iPhone, and for the iPhone, which is really cool, some of the things I can do with it. But today, we're going to talk about version 2.2 for Mac. As you can see here, it's running, and you can already see it looks a lot different from what you previously saw. It looks flat like iOS 7 Plus and OS 10 Yosemite Plus. And as, tra as always, there's the uh, buttons you can click through each frame one by one. So that's really cool. Let me make sure my provider is correct. Yeah, I'm correct. Yeah, you see over there Radarscope Pro. Yes, they have Pro now available on the Mac OS X now as well. Of course, I'm paying $10 a year for that as well as $10 a year for the iOS version. It's really cool though. It's worth every penny for a guy like me. You can see it's flat, just like, again, like I said, like iOS 7 Plus in Yosemite. And of course, here's where I select all the different radars, all different products that the radar offers. And I, I can actually select my favorite radars here as well. Right now I'm going to actually move over to the Paducah, Kentucky radar to show you another really cool feature. I still can't get used to that. This is the radar swap button. You just click to select the radar. Theoretically anyway. Okay. There we go. We're glitched there. See the lightning bolts appearing? That is part of the $10 per year that I pay to get it, and it is worth it, believe me. You're going to actually see this in live streams now. I had it on my phone for the longest time, but I've been waiting forever for them to bring it out to the Mac, which they finally have. So depending on the radar, I can get anywhere. I get 20 frames, so it depends on how often the frames scan. Like Paducah, I'm getting about two hours worth of radar. So it's really nice, and it's 20 frames of high-resolution data as well, so that's really a cool thing. Let's switch back to St. Louis temporarily. Like, see, St. Louis, they're scanning. Yeah, I'm, St. Louis, it's in, oh, it is in preset mode. See, St. Louis, I'm only getting from 10 till to about, yeah, I'm only getting about half an hour. But it's really going to be nice whenever storms blow through because they're going to actually scan lower in the atmosphere multiple times during a storm. So we're, we actually have support for that now as well on here. So you're actually going to see lower scans quite often, which is what I typically look at. Like there, you see there, that's tilt one that I use, and that's what they scan multiple times. So it's really a nice thing to have, and it's going to be a great improvement for STL Weather and our live streams this summer. Uh, with that, this is STL Weather Meteorologist Bobby Stillwell signing off, wishing you all a pleasant day. Take care, and as always, stay safe.